Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Bova Space. Hope you all are doing good. I had a fantastic week and looking forward to the weekend. Well, moving on in today's video, I will show you how a few simple tips can help you keep your closet organized. This video is well suited for us Indian women who have clothes in all varieties, sizes and textures. So, let's get started. You will find a lot of difference in the look of your closet with hangers that are uniform. As you can see, I am a fan of stainless steel hangers. They look good and occupy less space. Because they are thinner, you can fit in a lot of clothes with enough breathing space left for them. Even after I have double folded my tops, plenty of them could fit into the space. Many prefer placing shirts, tops and t-shirts in hangers without folding, something like this. It's a matter of one's convenience and need, but if you like to keep them folded, I suggest double fold it. That will give extra storage space in the shelf. Now all these salwars are my common ones which are used for mix and match. Well apart from these four kurtas. Now keeping them in this way helps me to take a quick look and make a faster choice. The dresses that are in a set have the salwars kept right inside the respective kurtas. Keeping them that way will reduce the chances of losing the salwar and spoiling the set. Always fold clothes in the same way. It's my experience that you can end up with more storage space in your shelf. Whatever may be the style of folding, it doesn't matter, just fold it in the same way. Soon I want to do a video on different techniques to fold clothes, but typically this is how I do it for my clothes. Indian fabric that are hand dyed tend to bleed. Try to keep them covered or separate from other clothes, especially the whites. Now this is a wonderful idea from the closet organization video of simplify your space on how you can use scarf organizer for stoles. Well you can use them to hold chiffon and georgia chunis. Sari bags are one of the most preferred and time tested ways to keep saris safe and organized. My mom and I are big fans of sari bags. Sari bags suit well for storing saris with zardozi, sequin or any other work on it. Silk saris don't lose their shine and cotton saris won't end up with a million creases. Now isn't that amazing? Using sari bags also solve the problem of folds opening up while taking out especially in case of chiffons and georgettes. I have stored my sari bags in this kind of a transparent bag that I bought on Amazon. I have kept all my saris sorted in them and labeled them. I have put the link to buy them in the description box below. Now I had to use these to prevent my saris from a lot of dust that had started bothering me. Earlier actually this is how my arrangement was. I had used closet bins to keep petticoats and blouses separately from the saris. I stored all my saris in my favorite double folded bay so that I could make space in the shelf below. Now I stored them in my favorite way of filing system that is one behind the other. It not only looked good but also was very functional.
normally most of us keep the blouses with the saree itself but what about the petticoats well keeping the entire set together makes it easy to pick up a saree easily on any occasion it does not matter what you keep in your drawers be it your denim pants t-shirts or any other undergarments the filing system of keeping clothes will help you to store more in a less space see it's in fact even so easy to pick it up as well now i keep my socks in this way a large number of them were actually possible to store in this tiny little bin I have reserved a small space in my cupboard only to store the everyday clothes towels everyday dresses my nighties gym clothes all are in here remember to segregate clothes based on your needs occasional clothes formal clothes um clothes that need high maintenance whatever it may be i bet it will never mess up use closet bins and organizers if you are not very confident label the bins to avoid any further confusion make sure to periodically give away clothes that you haven't used in a while use naphthalene balls for a fresh feel so friends This is how I have organized my closet. I did not have the need to use too many organizers, but if you start with using any one of these ideas, I bet you will have a neat and organized closet in no time. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Your comments and suggestions are most welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be back soon with my next video. Till then, Be organized, be productive, be happy. Bye-bye.